All right. This is, let's see, grade four, module four, lesson seven. And in this lesson, we are going to learn how to draw angles uh, given a certain degree, right? So we're going to be told, uh, given a measure, now draw the picture. Okay, so what is that going to look like? All right, so let's say we've got right here a ray, and we're being told we're supposed to draw a 25 degree angle. All right, 25 degree angle. Now, we're going to use this as our vertex, as in the corner of the angle, of the, the angle. Vertex is the proper word for that, vertex. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the target now. The target has a little hole right here on this uh, protractor. And so I'm going to put that, pro that target right on the vertex of our angle, and I'm going to make it line up so that my zero is right on the leg of this ray, right on this ray. And now I'm going to go over to 25 degrees. Now each of these lines counts as a 10. In fact, I can see my protractor. It says 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm going to go over to 25. So 10, 20, and here's 30. So 25 is going to be smack dab in between. And I'm going to put a little dot right at 25. And now I can move my protractor. And now I've got this little dot here. And this dot, I'm going to connect it with the vertex, or what's going to be the corner. And I'm going to use my straight edge of the ruler of the protractor. And there is my angle. And this little arc right here, boom, right here, represents 25 degrees. Okay, now on this one, we're going to make a 140 degree angle. And again, this is going to be our vertex or our corner. And we've got a ray shooting off here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the target of my protractor right on that corner, right on that vertex. And I'm, I'm going to make sure, I need to make sure that the line, the ray, is lined up with zero on my protractor. And it is, so it's not on the edge of my protractor. I have to make sure that the ray is on the, the zero marker. And now I'm going to go over and I'm going to keep moving and I'm going to move to the other side of my camera here. And I'm going to line that up and I want to go all the way over to 140 degrees. Now the cool thing is I have to be careful because there's 140 right there, but that would make an acute angle. And we know that 140 has to be an obtuse angle, so it's got to be bigger than 90 degrees. So I'm just going to go over until I get to 140, or what I could do is I could just count by tens. I could start here at zero and go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. So here's 140 degrees, and oh, coincidentally, I kind of wrote it there. Uh, that wasn't a coincidence. And I'll put a tag, a little, a little dot at both. And so now here's my vertex, and I can see my line, the other ray, is going to be right here, and that is my 140 degree angle. And so the arc is going to be this piece right here. And this arc represents 140 degrees. All right, let's do one last one. We'll do 45 degrees. This time I'm not going to start with a ray. And so what that means is it means I have to start with an array somewhere. All right, and the uh, the textbook isn't telling me where to start. Engage New York is not telling me where to start. So I'm just going to say, all right, here's my array. I mean, here's my ray. And there's my vertex. And now I'm going to make a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to line up my target right on the vertex. And I'm going to line up the zero right along that ray. And then I'm going to count over 
45 degrees. So I'm going to start here at 0 and I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 45 would be halfway between 40 and 50. So that's 45 degrees. So there's my little tick mark. And now I'm going to use my ruler, my straight edge, and connect that tick mark with my vertex. And so this right here is my 45 degree angle.